Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. In this video, we're going to cover Chapter 1, Exercise 5. So, as always, um, don't uh, turn this exact solution in. It's modified just enough to not give you the you know, exact answer you'll come out with if you have the book. But if you have the book, all you'll have to do is make a few simple changes and you should uh, have the right solution. So, this is pretty much the structure you'll come out with, but um, the, the problem you'll actually, the solution you'll actually come out with is actually I think probably a little bit easier. Um, but this problem only requires the pseudocode and the flowchart, and I'm usually just going to give the pseudocode because with that you can make the flowchart. So uh, also, um, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to give you uh, a good grade or any grade for that matter, and um, not necessarily the best solution, but if you have nothing, it can be very nice to have something here. <clears throat> uh, we'll get started with the pseudocode. The first step is to prompt the user to enter the length, and then the width, and then the height. The second is to calculate the area of one side, and that's length times width. The third step is to calculate the area of the box. Uh, that's two times the length times the width plus length times height plus width times height. And then the fourth step is to calculate the volume of the box, length times width times height. And then the fifth is to output the area of one side, the total area, the volume, and then in the program. So I'm going to walk you through the code. Uh, you don't need all this code, but I like to just go ahead and show you how it works and then you can actually, I feel like it's a better learning process. Uh, to actually see what the code would look like. So again, Xcode generates this. Um, not sure if other ones do, but that's going to be there. Uh, these three lines are pretty much what you'll have in every uh, every program you code. Um, not really sure what all this means, but <laughs> somehow it makes things work. Um, the next section is the to declare and initialize the variables and so I've got all of these as integers because I'm not going to do any decimal places otherwise I would put double and I've got length, width, height, area of the square, area of the rectangular box and the volume of the rectangular box and those all have to be you know there because these are the solutions right here and these are the things that you're going to be asked to input and that brings us to the inputs we're asked enter the length then we have an area to enter that number. Same with the width, same with the height. Then it goes into the calculations. Uh, we've got the first solution we need to find is the area of one side of that rectangular box. And so that's our, cal our calculation for that is length times width. Then we've got the area of the entire box. And that's that long calculation I said before. Um, so you'll notice that this isn't what the book asks for and actually a lot of this isn't, it's, it's going to be simpler. If you have the book, you'll, you'll know. Um, the outputs then are the next thing, and so you'll have the area of one side, the area of the whole box, and the volume of the whole box, and you'll plug in each of those variables. So whatever's contained in the variables will be posted there, and then you've got return zero. So let's just see this work um, real fast. And so let's have it run. I think it's running. Oh, no. Nope. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do four, five, six. And all that looks right. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. <laughs> but that, no, that does look right. Uh, and now. What I'm going to do is, like, let's say you have, you know, a square, okay? Um, let me add some other integers here. Let's say it's a cube, for example. Um, I would type integer side equals zero. And let's have the, um, let's have, like, the area. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's just do volume. Um, volume of a cube. Initialize it to zero. 
and what I would ask here is, you know, the output, C out, output for the, for the what you would see, it would output something to you, uh, would be enter side. And uh, let's just put a thing here. Let's give us a CN, an area to input something. Uh, let's do side. Now let's do a calculation here. Volume of a cube uh, equals let's see side. Oh, you know what? Let's do this because we're gonna end up having to do the side, and then we do the exponent because the volume of a cube is the um, side to the third power. Now we'll see here uh, this little exclamation point. It's not going to let us do that, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Let me output what this would be. Uh, the volume of the cube is um, volume cube, and then we'll inline. Okay, so that that right there, uh, it was kind of hard to find this. Not a lot of people will tell you straight up, give you a good, you know, simple answer. It's a bunch of nonsense. So I sort of figured this out on, on my own. Um, you'll have to do this right here, math h, and let's say that. Notice how it goes away. Certain things, you're going to have to have these certain include tags, header tags there, and that allows you to use things like power, you know, the base and the exponent, the power, power to the, you know, th to the third power, basically. Um, if you don't have that, this won't work. So let's save it and run it and see this in action. Uh, do the same thing for five, six, uh, the side, let's do three. And we'll see if we wanted to find, you know, anything for a cube, and we wanted to use an exponent. Um, that's right, three times three is nine, nine times three is 27. So that is uh, basically it for this problem. Um, but again, all you're going to need is the pseudocode here. So I just wanted to show you all of that working and take note that you need this in order to get um, the exponent calculation to work if you're going to use exponents. So, uh, and if you were to, you know, have a cube as the thing that they wanted you to find, all of this you only need to enter a side. And then you can, I mean, even these calculations here will be simplified. And your pseudocode will probably be simplified as well. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video.